Are you missing volleys you know you should make? Well, I've got Pete Freeman from Crunch Time Coaching who is going to give us an amazing forehand volley tip today. Pete, show us what you got. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> people get so excited when you come in net. You get that meatball, and so the temptation is to just crush the volley, but what ends up happening is you're doing something I call breaking the wrist. And when you break the wrist, sure, you're gonna make some, but you're gonna miss some you have no business missing. And, and I noticed that the great volleyers of your time when you were playing, <laughs> like Edberg and, and Sampras and Rafter, and I certainly love to watch Mac volley too, is they told a good story with their volleys. You could always tell after they were done exactly where their intention was to volley it. Mm -hmm. And that's because they did not break the wrist. And so I was working with one of my students and she was breaking the wrist, just gonna demo some of what's that like to break, break the wrist on your volley. And what I had, the idea was, let's put another ball in her opposite hand. And when she's done, her job was to be able to show the racket butt to the tennis ball. So if she volleyed one well, the racket butt was here and it was easy to tap the ball. If she broke the wrist, she would have to bring her racket back and then tap, and then she knew that that was happening. I love this tip because consistent with what I've coached over the years, players swing too much, they use too much arm and too much wrist, and what this forces you to do is use more of your shoulder to hit the volley, and I like to have the tip of the racket facing more to the side at the finish of the swing. Yeah. So we're speaking the same, we're talking about the same concept, just different language, and I love this prop of using the tennis ball, so I can't wait to try yeah, it so out. so let's try it. I wanna see some world-class volleys going on here. So first we're gonna right. show what the problem is, and then we're gonna see some world-class volleys. Okay, Jeff, so show us some of those wrist-breaking volleys. They've set up the perfect point, and then they come to the net, and they do that. Oh my God, that's painful do it to watch. Again. Here we go. Good. So now what we want, Jeff is a student. We're going to look at some world-class volleys. Now he's going to take the ball in his pocket. And what he's got to do is he's got to hold and do three taps after every volley. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Look how clean that is. That's beautiful. Ready? One, two, three. A little more on center. One, two, three. And notice how he's telling a story. You can tell exactly where that volley is going based off how he finishes. That looks beautiful. And one more. That is perfect. So now he can hit pinpoint volleys, bring them either side. He's got them on a string. He's winning the majors again. You know, what I love about this tip is, again, it's forcing me to hold my follow through. So I have to hold it and really take my time there. And I'm a big believer in having a great finish. Most players don't have great finishes on their strokes especially with the volley. It also forces the hand to stay above the net too. It's not gonna go down. So fantastic tip, Pete. If you wanna learn more about all the great coaching that Pete Freeman is doing over at Crunch Time Coaching, check out his YouTube channel. We'll make sure there's a link uh, in the description of this video and also check out his website at Crunch Time Coaching. Pleasure doing this video with it you. It was great fun.